Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video of HTML Foundation for Visually Impaired, which is organized by Accessible Computing, in which you are learning HTML codes and how to develop your website by using HTML. So today is the session number or video number three. Already we have learned what is HTML and the introduction to the web development. And today is the day where we learn how to write your HTML pages. So are you excited, guys? If you come to this channel first time, don't forget to press the subscribe button, turn the bell icon on and choose all notification to get latest videos and don't forget to join our telegram channel, telegram group, the links are given in the description below. Without any delay, let's start. So today we are going to type or we are going to create our first HTML page. To create any HTML page, you need two things. Number one, a simple notepad and number two, a browser to run your code. Any browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, any browser, Brave, Opera GX, any browser you can use. And Windows Notepad is okay for you. But at the end of this series, I will introduce some advanced tool for HTML codes and programming. So before going to the coding, I would like to introduce two terms. HTML has elements and tags. So what is elements? Elements gives the structure and tell the browser how your web page looks like. So if you want to give a heading on your web page, so you have to use h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, h6. These are the six headings. Uh, you can say this is the six, these are the six headings. This is called elements. H1, H2, H3, these are called elements. And elements, every element has tags, opening tags and closing tags. Which means if you want to write hello into heading, you have to open a tag first, then type hello, then close your tag. So if you want to write hello, so you have to use less than h1 greater than then type hello then less slash h1 greater than this is the way you can write any element between opening tag and closing tag so we are in a folder called html foundation which is in my this pc and here i am creating a notepad file so let me create a notepad file Console html and i am giving the name of the file is about Select. See, uh, when you create any website, the file name is very, very important. So you should have a proper file name when you link any website or when you link any web page. I mean, you have 10 to 12 pages and when you link any page with another page. So the file name is everything. So remember, do not use 1.html, 2.html, use proper file name this is very very important and uh, as the notepads extension is dot txt so when we write any code we use that dot txt extension but when we run this code or when we run our code through the browser we need to rename the file and use the extension called dot html so these are the two very 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 important uh, you can say important tips or important things which you have to know before going to write html so i'm pressing enter here .txt so this is our first txt file or here we will write the About first blank. web page blank, blank, blank. so everything is blank now we want to write our html codes so we have already known that we have elements and tags. So HTML is an element and below, I mean, in, in that element, we have to use another elements, another tags, everything. So everything, whatever we want right in our HTML must be in html element i think this is quite uh, problematic to understand or this is quite confusing but when i am writing when i will write the code then you can easily understood understand 
another two important terms or another two important things which I want to tell you is every HTML page has two parts. Number one, head or header and number two, body. So the title of a web page, when you open any web page in your browser, if you press insert plus T or the first thing which you can listen through your screen reader is web page title or website title. So this title is presented in the header tag or header element. All other the items like links, bullets, headings, tables, buttons, forms, the other things, all the other things are presented in body tag. So let's start typing. So remember for HTML5, we have to use doc type HTML first. After that, we will start the HTML coding, right? And one more thing, HTML is not a case sensitive language. Don't no matter whatever language, I mean, whatever um, case you use uppercase or lowercase, but I am recommending you to use lowercase only. So in the first line, I am typing less less capital doc type D O C T Y P E. Yes, this word only you need to type in caps, Space. then HTML, HTML. then greater. greater, then I'm pressing enter. Then I'm starting the HTML element. I mean, HTML tag less HTML greater. Less HTML greater. Then I'm pressing two times enter to close this tag. Less slash. Less slash HTML greater. HTML greater. Remember, when you open any tag, you must close this tag. Though there are some ex exceptions, which we will discuss in the upcoming or in the future classes. But for now, you have to remember that most of the tags have the opening tags and close tags. So you have to open the tags, then you have to close the tags. Because if you do not close the tags, you may forget to close it. And if you miss any single character of your programming, your page will not run properly. Let's not type less HTML plan. After that, here I am typing the heading or header tag. Sorry, heading, not heading, header. So that's why I am typing less head, less a -E -A -D. Greater, greater. Then I want to type the title. So that's why I need to open the title. It's less title greater. Less T -T -E, greater. Here I am typing that HTML foundation. HTML space F O U N D A T I O N. Then I am closing the title. Less slash T T -E, E greater. Then I am closing the head tag. Less, less slash H A E A D head. greater. Remember, you have to open the tags serial wise, and you have to close the tag serial wise so follow this code less h t less a t m l greater character less h e a d greater less t i t l e greater h t so first i have started a heading header tag then title tag then as i have started title tag last i mean in the second time so i need to close that tag first time after that i need to close the head tag s f o u n d a t i o n less slash e i t L E greater less slash A E A D greater D less slash H less head carrot. I'm pressing enter. Now, uh, one more thing. Try to use at least header in a single line. Why? Because if you type, if you create a new website and if you have 100 plus 1000 plus lines and if you missed any codes in, uh, suppose you have typed any wrong course in line number 53 it is very very tough to find it so that's why i'm rep recommending you to as much as possible you use single line to write codes okay let's plan now i am opening the body tag because everything i need to enter or everything i have to enter in the body of the html so i'm opening less body greater less D -O -D -Y greater then i'm pressing two times enter and I'm closing this tag. Less slash D -O -D -Y. Greater blank. In this blank, I can type whatever I want. So suppose I want to type welcome in heading level one. There are six heading levels 
heading one is the larger heading and heading level six is a smallest heading largest and smallest sorry heading one is larger and uh, sorry largest and heading six is smallest heading let's stop land so i am using heading one so less h1 greater less h1 greater then i am typing welcome to the e -S -O -E to the space o Space, space. HTML foundation course. HTML space O U S A R O N space C O U R S E. Then I am closing this heading tag. Less slash H one greater. After that, I am pressing enter. Now here I want to write a paragraph or some sentence. So I need to open the paragraph tag, which is less P greater. Less P greater. I am pressing enter here. If I if I want to just write a single line or two lines, I can write onwards. Don't need to press enter, but if you want, you can press enter also. So here I'm pressing enter, and now I'm typing HTML. HTML is a is a space a very important space L A G A G E space T O space D V L O P space A space D A T E dot space so I have written two lines. So these two lines, after that I am closing just less slash p tag. Okay. HTML is a very important language to develop a website. You have to learn this language to start working as a web developer. So this is the data which I have entered or text I have entered. Now I am saving this. After saving this, I am closing this. About.txt. Now about.txt, now I am renaming it. About plan txt. What is the file extension? Dot HTML. HL. Then I'm pressing enter. Rename dialog if you this is the alert box. HTML I'm just pressing enter here. Now I'm pressing enter on this HTML file. Let's see. Untitled Google Chrome. HTML Foundation Google Chrome. HTML Foundation. Heading level 1. Welcome to the HTML Foundation course. So heading level 1. Welcome to the HTML Foundation course. HTML is a very important language to develop a website. You have to learn this language to start working as a web developer. So this is our first website or web page. This is not a website. This is a just web page which we have created with HTML codes. So this is the very basic. In the next session or next class, we will discuss how to add new lines, how to change the fonts, etc, uh, etc. Et if you are excited, if I will see excitement on your face uh, if i will see excitement into the comment section then only i will upload the videos as early as possible but i need at least 100 plus views in these videos within 24 hours yes this is your challenge so take the challenge do the action do the share and also let me know into the comment section after creating your first web page how you will feel or how you are feeling okay so this is for today thank you for watching this video till the end if you have any doubts any queries regarding this don't forget to let me know into the comment section we will definitely help you out thank you this is ratul signing off